Peace, love, and blessings to everyone. This is In Living Black, of course. I am your host, JD. I'm here with a beautiful brother of mine. Bari. Young. And we're here with a special guest. I'm going to have you introduce yourself. What's up, everybody? Um, I'm pretty much, my name is AJ. Um, I'm known as AJ Adon. I'm from Louisiana. I found these guys actually on Instagram. Uh, hit my guy right here up to come on a podcast. He got back with me. Um, flew to New York. Pretty much met up yesterday. Good vibes. And yeah, yeah. We, we met up. We had a meet up <laughs> yesterday because let me tell you something. I definitely thought you was a fake person. <laughs> Right? Well, not fake person, but like, just like... Wasn't sure. Just wasn't yeah. sure. Had, you yeah. understand what I'm saying? So you had to make sure if you wasn't, you know what I mean, yeah. on some like, some stuff because yeah. you know there's a lot of people out here that be on some fake bullshit. Yeah, nah, for sure. So for like, sure. so we had to make sure and I ain't gonna lie, we met up, you talked your shit, you knew what the hell you was talking about. Yeah. Shit went phenomenal. Appreciate it. The shit went Appreciate phenomenal. It. I was like, hold on now. This guy's really <laughs> cool. He's humble. Fact. Yeah. Chill dude. But also know what the fuck he talking about. Yeah. And has an interesting story. Yeah. So we're gonna tap into like your story type yeah. shit. Um, you coming from Louisiana. Yeah. Uh, but where you like where where in Louisiana? Talk um, talk about the town. Specifically, man, I'm from Lotta, Louisiana. Uh the town is so small that we don't even have a police department. Oh my god. So yeah. So it's literally uh one store. It really is one store pretty much towards the front of the town and then one store towards the back of the town. It's the only two stores in the town. Um, so everybody know everybody, basically, yeah, in that town. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Like, where I'm from, everybody knows me. Everybody, like, pretty much, if if, you're, if your family is, is born there, if you're born there, you live there your whole life. Like, everybody's somewhat even related. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. Like, down, down same streets. Like, a, you go down the same street, and there'll be a whole family of people. Wow. You know, another street, a whole family of people. So it's, it's really that country. Yeah, and we pretty much have horses, you know. Um, Y'all be riding them horses on that. Oh yeah, right. a lot, a lot. Like yesterday, I, well, day before yesterday, um, my barber he he rides horses, so I pulled up, got my cut in Louisiana right before flying here. He pretty much got off his horse, gave me a cut right quick. Yo, look, that's crazy. Look, that's he, crazy. He got right back on his horse. Look, like I'm like, hey, his clip is up. And hey, it was bro. out. It was that's out, bro. Yo, this man had a satchel. Yeah, and all that bro. Shit. And it, he had and a it's, saddle. That's it's crazy. Crazy, bro. It's crazy, bro. Because even going back, because I've I've lived in Houston the last year. Yeah. So going back. It's just like, dang, man. Like, because I used to do that too. Like, you know, I used, used to, to ride horses. Oh yeah, and definitely, ride man. My neighbor actually. Is like a uh, he's like a world famous roper. Okay. Um, like he he meaning like he 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 ropes like cattle. Oh, like, like bulls. Like, and yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. Okay. So uh, he 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 would throw like different things every weekend. He has like a big old setup to where like everybody brings their horses, bro. Like Shetland ponies for the kids to ride in the town. Yeah. So it's everybody late. in the town has horses. Damn near, bro. Damn near for God, sure. Damn. For sure. God damn. Either horses or cattle or something, something like that for sure. Yeah. Everybody has an animal. I'm putting it like that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Everybody okay. has an animal. Okay, okay. For sure. Okay. No, no, no pet crocodiles and shit though on that. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. Okay. Every time I think about losing Anna, I just got to ask. Now, there, there are stuff like that though. Uh, not where I'm from, um, but yeah, there, there are places for sure where people will have like alligators. So, all right. So, like, explain like your. your like you, like you getting into like get to like where you at right now. Like you, for sure. You grew up in Louisiana. You always had the mindset to like, because uh, if people don't know, like you're in stocks. Yeah. Right. Um. But like, did you have that mindset early in the game? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Uh, I actually had my first business, man. I was like 12 years old. Um, I sold hats at a local flea market. Okay. So um, I had a deal with Mitchell and Ness. Um, I had a vendor where I would get all our Mitchell and Ness hats for a price, a pretty good price. Um, I would get a boatload, like a hundred hats at a time for, you know, good price, wholesale price. Um, pretty much come back to the flea market, sell them two for 20. Um, at three, 12 three years old, 30. crazy. Yeah. At 12 years old, I was selling phone cases, um, sunglasses, uh, a lot of different things, bro. Just trying to um, get it. Yeah, yeah, definitely at a young age. I don't know why I had that mindset. It was just like 
It was it was just honestly something that was engraved in me was like it, from from was the it, start. Was it the surroundings maybe like that just Yeah, like, yeah, I didn't I, I well I I'll put it to you like this. I think this was what what definitely had an influence on my maturity on my early maturity was because I didn't have any male cousins. Mm-hmm. So on my on my side of the family there's no male cousins. Like it, it's literally all girls. Yeah. Mm. So I I was forced to hang around like my uncles, you know what I'm saying? Uh pretty much my dad too. My dad owned a trucking company, so he was he was going a lot, you know what I'm saying? But I did get a lot of gain from him. Um, like I I just just to say this real quick, um, I dropped out of high school to to pursue a trucking trucking business, and my dad was pretty much the one show me show me the ropes to the trucking industry. So he definitely um, he definitely had 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 a lot of influence on my life. Um, my mom was a school teacher, so in school she always influenced pretty much just uh not not so much having good grades but just being smart in general you yeah, know what yeah, i'm saying yeah, like yeah. just like you know you need to be smart when you're making your moves you know what i'm saying uh or else you know you're gonna end up being nothing in life they weren't like, mad they yeah. weren't mad that you dropped out yeah 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 you know and what was crazy was when i when i dropped out um i i went to the principal and you know because you got to go there to get your papers to get your dropout papers so i was pretty much like i'm finna drop out i know that and he was like, uh, "You finna drop out?" I was like, "Yeah." I was like, "I'm finna drop out." I was like, "You know, pretty much. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't want to pretty much be here." Yeah, you don't anymore. waste your time. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, I like it's not, it's not, it's not, not anything wrong with the school or anything. You know what I'm saying? It's just that I'm, I'm on something other than this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and even kind of, kind of told him out my my plan a, a little bit. You know, not saying too much, but I kind of told him that you know that I pretty much you know I'm dropping out to do this trucking industry. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Um, so he actually called my mom, no cap, because my mom is is a is is, a, is in the school system too. Yeah. So he literally called my mom, and he was like, "Do you know like he's he's about to drop out? Like like are you aware?" And she was like, "Yeah, I'm aware. Like you know like but." I believe that you know he's a, like 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 he's a he's a smart individual. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I I know that whatever he has on his mind, he's definitely gonna pursue it. You know what I'm saying? That was just always how I was. Like even after I had business, um, like I did I did film and photography for like seven eight years. Um, just weddings. I did maternity. I did graduation pictures, prom pictures. I wasn't even going to prom because I was taking everybody pictures. A true born hustler, if you will. Yeah. So. I learned everything on my own. Honestly, I taught everything to, m- to myself. Honestly, YouTube was a huge teacher for me. You know, yeah. like that was that was where I where, where I learned everything about editing. You know, um, to, still to this day, I create my own content. So you know, that's a that's a a little bit of a of a overwhelming thing now, being that I got so much going on. But I still, you know, create my create my own content to this day. So you being from a small town, right? And um, I've like the stock game like how did you tap into that like that type of uh vibes i know yesterday you told us that your brother put you yeah. on and stuff of yeah. that nature uh was like your brother like well versed in other cultures as well oh. like did he like step outside of shit and then that's how he learned too or he just like i would saw say that shit on the internet i would say this so i was always the wild one pretty much okay. like i was always out, out there a little bit oh, okay um my brother was more so like the you know this is one in the background yeah, yeah, yeah. um but he always was on what I was on. I was kind of always on what he was on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? As long as it pretty much fit us both. You know what I'm saying? We got different things we do still to this day that, you know, he's like, oh, nah, I, you know, I really can do that. I'd be like, yeah, I couldn't do that either. You know what I'm saying? But we doing both. You know what I'm saying? Um, he well, he dropped out before me, um, a, a year before me. And this is, this is not my biological brother. Um, this is... Honestly, he, we stayed on the same street. He has the same last name as me. Oh, okay. But wow. we're not related. Oh, okay. At all. Wow. So uh, we actually met eighth grade year. Um, how we met was was playing summer league ball. Um, I pretty much had a whip early, yeah. young hustler. I had a whip. He stayed on the street, so I'm like, hey, you know, I'll pick you up. You know what I'm saying? Go go to, go to go to basketball practice or whatever. So that's how we met. And but to have a whip in eighth grade is crazy. I ain't gonna. Yeah, bro. I had a whip. I had a whip in eighth grade, bro. That's crazy. What was you doing in eighth grade, your boy? Eight. Um, taking the dollar van. <laughs> 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 that, that was like one fifty. Wasn't even a dollar. Uh, right? Wasn't even a dollar, right? even a dollar at the time. Stupid. Eighth grade. Yeah, I had a two thousand one V six Mustang, 
And how I got it was through my my one of my aunts. Um, she had got a new car. She had pretty much her brother had wrecked that one. Yeah. Um, my pops, he he, I he kind of always showed me a little bit about mechanics. So it took me like six seven months to fix my own car, bro. Ah, damn. In in eighth grade, like six six seven months to fix my own car. I finally fixed my car. Shit, I was rolling. Like it was no looking. Man, know back. how to fix cars, <laughs> selling hats. Man, I really Glasses know how to do a lot, shit. bro. Like, like especially when it comes to even even the the truck industry, bro. I can literally fix anything on an eighteen wheeler, bro. No cap, no cap, bro. See, I like when he say no cap because I feel like that's some <laughs> southern shit. Yeah, 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 that's, that's what we say. Shit. That's what we say. I ain't when you go say like, no cap. We shouldn't do that. <laughs> we should not do that. But like, <laughs> but like to like to like learn all of those qualities very early. That that. That's pretty dope. Yeah, it's, I, it's like I always just had a mindset of of you know the more the more I, I could acquire the acquire, better yeah, yeah. I would be. You know what I'm saying? Right. My pops will always tell me this too, bro. Like he's always just telling me like even when I used like because I, I used to I used to be a little lazy. You know what I'm saying? Coming up and he used to tell me like you know like all the shit that I that that I'm telling you to do yeah. is gonna be important. You know what I'm saying? Like it's gonna be important to you later. You know what I'm saying? I also had a another influence which was was, was heavy on my life. Um, he was like a he was like another father to me, um, and he he would basically give me give me th that same game. That's who you have um, in your neck right now. Yeah, right? yeah. I'll oh. talk about him in a few. Uh, okay. But just just getting back on on real really quick about my brother putting me on. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. He 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 showed me the game. Um, I had I had bought a course uh, from a guy named Q Banks. Um, he's a guy from Miami. Well, he's not he's not originally from Miami. He lives in Miami now. Mm -hmm. He's uh, I want to say he's from Nigeria. Or Jamaica, okay. one, one of the two. Um, but he um, he basically was the first African American that I knew to to be on some forex industry type of big ordeal. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um, and and on some private trader, at, like, like like on a private trader aspect of things. Meaning, like me, I'm a, I'm pretty much a private figure in the industry. You know mm. what I'm saying? Meaning, I I just trade on my own. I have my own academy pretty much do my own thing you know what yeah. i'm saying um a lot of a lot of when you when you hear the name forex a lot of companies in the industry are uh are like affiliate marketing companies so he was like the first private figure that i could look up to and was like okay yeah yeah, yeah he getting it yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what i'm saying he getting it and uh pretty much copped this course he showed me a lot of what the basics was um my brother was there to kind of because he's he's really he's really really technical yeah, yeah. when he trades yeah. so like being brand new to it if you was inside his course you'd be like what am I looking at? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But having like prior knowledge on 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 the industry, you would, you know what I'm saying? You'd be able to put two and two together. Um, my brother was there to pretty much put it all together for me. Uh he he got a lot of gems there too. Um, I know we talked about Chris Johnson uh yesterday too. My brother pretty much learned the stock market from him. Yeah. Uh Stan Weinstein. Uh we can talk about the strategy later too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um and yeah, we'll talk about that four step later. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. So he he pretty much read a lot of books too. My brother has a book collection, like I'm talking about, like 60, 70 books. Mm. Um, I even went through a phase after losing him. Uh, pretty much, I lost my trucking company too. I went through a phase of reading. Um, I read a lot of books that my brother referred to me, and also a lot of books that Nipsey Hussle read too. Oh. Um, just just cause I was I was always inspired by his philosophy. Um, on just you know, like the whole marathon philosophy. Of uh, one 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 main thing that I always had that I felt nobody really implements is really having a plan, and that's what he would talk about too. Is pretty much really having success planned out, you know, knowing that that everything might not go as planned, but having it planned out overall, seeing seeing that okay, this is where I want to be, this is my vision. You know what I'm saying? It's easier to get there yeah. because you accomplish things on the way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So if you look at what you accomplished, I literally have a check checklist in my notes right now in my phone. I've been having the same checklist for years. And you write shit down. Yeah, I write shit down. You know, check it off as I as I'm accomplishing things and and it, and it, as I'm getting to the to the bottom of my list, I'm like, shit. Next two three years, everything on my list is gonna be accomplished. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I so I, it's, it's like I only have a little while longer to go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Before yeah. everything is pretty much. How, how you want it to be so that i feel like that's a good way to stay of course if you're after something that, that's a good way to stay stay of course you know what i'm saying um nipsey hustle also was in was in the stocks too um definitely yeah yeah he was tapped in the when you when you first started stocks right when mm -hmm. you first started stocks like did you 
Like, did you, was there losses for you? Or like, did Definitely. Was, yeah, I went through pains? a full year of losses, bro. Yeah, yeah. Matter of fact. I feel like people don't talk about matter that Matter of fact, enough. a full two years of losses, bro. Mm. Like, uh, uh, because my problem was I had I had got the skill pack down. Like, I, I've been kind of knowing what, what I was looking at because I was always just a person that could catch on to things quickly. Yeah. And and I had my brother. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, uh, when when I would trip up, he he would kind of be there to you know tell God me, you, yeah, yeah he, he this is this is that. Um, so I I I really learned trading strictly from trial and error, like I said yesterday, um, and that's through actually doing it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um, my first two years, I wasn't profitable at all. Um, I probably had fed the market like over fifteen, sixteen thousand uh, dollars. Like you know, like over two like over two year time span. Yeah. And that's when I was like, okay, I need to slow down a little bit. <laughs> slow down and, in what way? And, like you just like and, stop putting money in there? Yeah, yeah. More so, not 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 stop putting money in, but I stopped making foolish mistakes. So is so is 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 the skill, right? I say I say this. It's two things: it's skill and it's mindset, right? Is is twenty percent skill and then it's eighty percent mindset. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm trading. I'm doing a million other things. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like I'm trading, I'm I'm fighting with my girl. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's just a lot of different things that 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 that, that could that could factor into you 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 not being profitable. You know what I'm saying? You you over guessing things. You know what I'm saying? You you not being careful. You not catching certain things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, There's a lot of different things that indicate confirmations. You know what I'm saying? You you want to look for multiple confirmations when when you're trading the market. Meaning, okay, if I got five confirmations that this market is going to buy up tomorrow. I want to place buy positions. Okay. You know what I'm saying? If I got five confirmations that this market will possibly sell tomorrow, I want to place sell entries. You know what I'm saying? We're real simple. So, overall... But for the listeners like, bar, you're going to have to explain all that shit right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You okay, gotta, bet. You got to break down that shit okay, that bet. you did yesterday. Okay, <laughs> bet. I got you. <laughs> I got you. Up, down, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all right, the bet. One. So... The markets work like this, right? Um, whether you're in uh, the foreign exchange market or whether you're in the stock market, um, this is how it works. It's two directions that the market goes, right? Uh, it's either up or down. All right, it's one more direction, and that's pretty much a, a, a stagnant direction, which is just consolidation, which is just sideways movement. So you will get up, upward motion, downward motion, and then side, sideways motion. It's just three motions, all right? Now, an uptrend, all right? It's like a ladder effect. Uptrends and downtrends are like a ladder effect. They're the same thing. They just go opposite directions. So if you have an uptrend in the market, if you have an uptrend in the market, you see this market going up, right? It'll slowly be trickling up. It'll slowly be trickling up, right? Like a ladder effect, right? Makes sense, mm -hmm. right? I'm with you, I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah, you with me? Yeah. All right, bet. Downtrend is just the opposite. It'll be, it'll be, this market will be trending down and retracing itself. Trending down, retracing itself, Right? So what I do, check how this makes sense, right? What I do is I trade a daily time frame, meaning I'm looking at daily momentum, meaning I'm looking at 24 hours of time within just, just one candlestick. And, and the chart is full of candlesticks. It's already looking at his candlestick movements. You feel me? Candlesticks going up, candlesticks going down. So on a bigger time frame, I'm pretty much analyzing my candlesticks. Okay, do I have an uptrend or a downtrend on a, on a daily time frame? Once I see that, okay, momentum is, is towards the upside, momentum is towards the downside, right? Making that confirmation, I want to drop down lower time frame. I want to now look at candles on a four-hour chart or candles on a one-hour chart. You feel me? Lower time frame. Remember I said it's a ladder effect, right? So if I see that momentum is overall, overall in the uptrend, right? What I want to do is look for the ladder effect, right? So whenever this market is uptrending and drops back down, I'm looking to continue buying that market, right? Let's just let's just think of something regular like like this water bottle, right? If I was if I wanted to make money selling water bottles, right? I would want to buy it low, sell it sell it for high, right? Makes sense. Mm -hmm. So in the market, what you're doing is you're buying low and then selling things high. So if you have an uptrend, you're looking to buy low within an uptrend. You feel what I'm saying? If you have a downtrend, you're looking to sell high within a downtrend. Meaning, it's, so you have the latter effect, right? You have an uptrend. You have an uptrend. Whenever that market retraces on a lower time frame, you're trying to swing overall momentum, which is daily momentum. You feel what I'm saying? So they like to say this trend is your friend. You know what I'm saying? I pretty much I'm a trend. I'm a I'm I'm a trend trader. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? It makes sense. To good me. good explanation. Uh, yeah. Like I like so, I like makes I sense to y'all. Makes sense. <laughs> this, this uh, Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. No. No. Yeah. It makes. It makes sense. It's just 
I feel like that's, you know, I, it was important to like bring you here because a lot of black people don't yeah. know yeah. that type yeah. of, uh, that type of vibes. And even yeah. if you put them on, they stray away from it. Yeah. You know, cause yeah. it's, yeah. it, it doesn't know. look, it doesn't look, um, uh, I guess like pleasing to the eyes when you download yeah. things like it's intimidating. Yeah. It's very intimidating. Yeah, it is intimidating. Man, it is intimidating. It's, it's, the like, industry in general is intimidating. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it's a lot going yeah. on. Like if you download yeah. E Trade, which is yeah. one of the you know, yeah, the more complicated, more complicated trade, trading platforms. Yeah. Exactly. Definitely getting in, into it, you want to go Robinhood simply yeah, because that's, to, that's, that's the most say, user, yeah. user friendly one. Um, e Trade. Now, once you once you're really into it, you know what I'm saying. That's pretty much day trading, you're gonna make money trading options. You know what I'm saying. So. Uh, you're gonna e trade is good for options. You know what I'm saying? They offer they offer pretty much every company in the in the you know in, yeah in, in the trading shit yeah yeah um mm -hmm. on some options contract and they, you know spreads are pretty much good um you know so I I definitely recommend e trade on 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 an options, options tip yeah um investing tip just just investing in in crypto I know a lot of people like crypto Bitcoin the Ethereum Do you stuff invest like that. in Bitcoin I yeah, mean in yeah, crypto yeah, yeah definitely okay. um my brother actually been invested in in Dogecoin since Dogecoin was nothing yeah like yeah. this is like before the pandemic yeah like this is crazy actually he had Bitcoin for the first time in like 2015. Mm. Like 2014, 2015. So that's something he's just been interested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and he actually came came to Houston, uh, where where I where I'm actually moving from. Uh, but this is where I was last year. Uh, he came live in Houston after dropping out. Um, and this is where he got put on the you, you know the that's where he got put on the, the whole stock market ordeal. Um, and we we stuck with it, bro. Like I'm I'm four years in the game now, going on five now. Um. I can say this, you know that uh, you it definitely had you definitely had to be consistent. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like my first two years, like I said, I went I wasn't even profitable. Um, my third year, I just I just put a little more consistency. Yeah. And in, in my you know put a little more time. You started little educating more yourself. Then. Yeah. 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 Because in know? the first two years that you lost money, was you educated enough to like really play that type of game? Or was you you were or if you were educated enough, but you just did it wrong? Yeah, yeah, I I, I would say that that I would say that that this now nah, I was not educated enough. You want to okay. know why? Because I've learned so much even from then. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like I I, I may have thought I had it. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah. I didn't. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I definitely my my third year of trading, which was like 2020. Um, that was definitely my breakout year. Um, I was doing doing film and photography still. Um, I was working for the for Walmart Walmart Distribution Center. Um, I was pretty much I just lost my trucking company. Um, the the summer prior, I also lost my one of my one of my mentors really, who was who was a big influence on my life. We pretty much ran together every day as far as the trucking company goes. Yeah. Um, we lost him to a freak accident, man. We were uh, we, we we were working on something. Um, an explosion happened, and then unfortunately he he just didn't make it. Oh, damn. So uh, it's two years, it's two years actually, two years like around this time since since it happened. Um, what I did after that was pretty much a lot of stuff that he instilled in me. Um, I I took action on it. You know what I'm saying? Um, he used to just 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 tell me, you know, um, to like 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 life is all about execution. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of times we presented the same opportunities. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of times we have the same opportunities as as anyone else. Yeah. It just it's just all about execution. You know what I'm saying? Um so when 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 he left, man, that's when I really got got into reading. Um before that I was a very kind of anti social person. I was always kind of an outcast in a way, but I wouldn't really speak much. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Like people just knew how I was. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But you couldn't catch me really speaking to you, you know what I'm saying? Right. Um I read books on communication, bro. Um, I read books on on even like people's facial expressions, bro. Wow. Like, like I, I literally read 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 different books that that shaped a better character. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's all I really was trying to be was just a better version of myself. So, check check out how this happened. I I got my job at Walmart. Um, I started off at the, at the distribution center anyway. Um, I started off it was just an extra hustle. You know what I'm saying? I was pretty much trying to stack my bread. I just had my little boy. Well, I was I was having my little boy. Um. In, in like a few months, so I was just like, you know what, I'm I'm trying to stack some bread. I'm about to I'm about to get back in grind mode. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. check yeah, the out. The kid was out. definitely like one of the most. The yeah, 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 yeah. After losing, after losing my my mentor, like my pretty much my my main my main man in my life. 
having my having my son definitely was like that motivation to get back up. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and get back going. Um well yeah, so I I I'm working at Walmart and and the rule there was that you couldn't get promoted within like the first six months. Um but, well actually you couldn't switch shift. You couldn't switch shifts within like first six months. Okay. The within the first year you couldn't you couldn't switch positions. So whatever you was hired at from from the jump, you just gotta stick with it. Yeah. Right. So I originally applied for because I had my CDL uh, from driving trucks. So I originally applied for a, a like a yard driver. Um, I ended up getting a, a a trailer like like a a packaging position. Okay. So literally, like packaging trailers by hand. You know what I'm saying? Like like just just throwing boxes on trucks, stacking stacking trucks, like like stacking truck loads. So I did that for like two months, bro. And I'm I'm pretty much I'm. Like being a good people's person on a job, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming in with good energy every day. Yeah, yeah. Good vibes, bro. Uh, the, within the second month, the, the second month of me there, I was I was promoted to to a forklift position. Um, somebody had had left that I I kind of heard about. It. I was like, shit, I I definitely could could do that. You know what I'm saying? If if y'all need some help there, so started off for like a week. Um, I went back to packaging, and like a week later, I got the job. So boom. I'm, I'm I'm in another position. I'm in another position. Like two, three months later, I get the outside position, just by being a phenomenal worker, bro. Being there on time, always, bro. I'm just I'm I'm really just testing out my my people skill. Like all what I had read, I was pretty much pretty much putting it in in into effect. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Um, so pretty much I, I had a big trading day. Um, two 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 weeks after my little boy was born, um, I ended up I ended up making 17k in a day. Um, That's through what? Trading, trading. Through tra- yeah, through trading. Um, and it, since then, never really looked back. Uh, I didn't quit, quit your job. I didn't quit my job right, right then that second. Um, that I actually got written up behind some stuff that I really felt like I they shouldn't have wrote me up for. Yeah, yeah. About two, three weeks after that, and then I was just like, you know what? Fuck it. By that time, I'd already had like forty, fifty k in my in my trading account, so I was just like, you know what? I'm I'm out. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like you know, I'm I'm out. So. Uh, then moved to Houston, bro. Last year, moved to Houston, and 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 started my started teaching people, like started my course, and and that blew up out of nowhere, bro. When you moved to Houston, right? You, did you have like a goal in mind when you moved it? Like, oh, like what what made you move to Houston? Like, why is why is Houston a destination? So I tell you, I tell you what, Houston was like, Houston was like a Houston was like the the city. If you're from Louisiana, like Houston, like the closest city. You know what I'm saying? Like okay. that's like the that's like the closest you gonna get to like big city. You know what oh, I'm saying? And okay, like okay. seeing like that city vibe. But like, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody pretty much from Louisiana go to Houston if they move somewhere. Oh, okay, you know what okay, I'm saying? Okay, okay. So that just was like pretty much like the the place to move if if you want to go to like a city from Louisiana. But yeah. also it was just it was just like I always wanted to 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 get away, get out of Louisiana, bro. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like I I, I honestly. Plan to live in in Toronto, bro. Like I, that's why I plan to settle at, after it's all said and done. But like why, I, we'll talk about why later. We'll talk about why. Yeah, I I honestly want 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 to want to move to 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 the six, bro. Like, yeah, I, like out the way. Yeah. Like trying to see Drake and shit. Trying to be with Drake. <laughs> now, really, get, really, get the, just trying mansion. to be on some out the way mansion. Just like dang, like just just out of out of ordinary vibes. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you know, like like on, on some on some. Extraterrestrial, like living yeah. type of type of vibe. Like, yeah, you don't want to deal with nobody. Just nobody. Say that. Like I don't want no neighbors yeah, yeah, for like three that. miles. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 I understand. Like, I understand. Like I understand. palace, like yeah. you know, like just just living, bro. Like you know, as I don't know. I but that, that's always been a dream place. Even even before, like I really even knew Drake was was from. I always liked Toronto, bro. Yeah. Like my favorite NBA team was the Raptors. Wow. I don't know. What? I don't know. That's <laughs> weird. That's weird, right? How does that happen? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, all right. So like you moved to Houston, you started teaching people. Like uh, you just like decided to start teaching people, or like people so, just ask you questions and shit. So check this out. Uh, I was I was in an organization where I was pretty much mentoring and teaching teaching people already um i kind of had like a fallout um with with a few people in the organization i was like you know what i'm gonna kind of step down yeah and i'm gonna just you know start my own organization uh i was pretty much already teaching a lot of folks bro uh i was i was influenced i was influenced like over 300 people whenever i left that organization so that influence carries on you know what i'm saying like if you if you really influence somebody you really teach somebody something they're gonna remember that for life 
You know what I'm saying? And uh, like even even till this day, majority of people who's in my course like right now and my, like like for myself is people that have been told about my academy. You know what I'm saying? So it's so it's people that that honestly like 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 oh their their cousin joined or or their man's joined and they made some bread. They like hey you need to come like you need to yeah. you need to you know what I'm saying you need to get with him. Right. So it's 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 all it's all genuine love, bro. Like it's it's just me really spreading love, bro. Like it's me spreading what I know about it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I started because I taught one of my older homies. Um, his his name is C Davis. He has a book. Uh, it's called uh, Live Live Twice by Thirty. Um, but I basically taught him how to trade within like six months, uh, it, and he was just like, "Bro, I'm you know I'm 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 40 years old. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you could teach me how to trade, bro, you could teach anybody. You know. So that's 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 what instilled in me, like start start my own course. Like you know, starting my own course. This is a fun fact. Um, the the night before my course even opened, bro, I didn't have anything done. I didn't have anything done, bro, because I couldn't figure out what exactly I could, like, how I couldn't even figure out what what I would even say, yeah, like, yeah. to even teach people something. Yeah. Like, I'm like, like, I'm like, I'm just waiting, you know, I'm lagging, I'm lagging, I'm, 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 I'm patiently, because I'm telling people on Instagram, like, you know, of course, dropping this day, and I'm just lagging, I'm like, you know, I'm like, I, I, I'm going to put it together. Like, I'm literally, bro, it's the night before, it's like six hours old. before the drop, oh. and I'm like, I don't have nothing, bro, and I'm just like... Like let me just let me just put a chart on the screen. Let me just start. Let me just start analyzing how I analyze, bro. And I might have ran like ten videos. I opened my course like ten videos, and within like the first month, bro, just off the ten videos, bro, like the the first month, I think I had like eighty people join. Wow. Like eighty eighty people and all good feedback, bro. Like like I haven't I've only had one person out of like five hundred something people who have joined my course. That have said they just couldn't understand. It was just because they, they just couldn't understand. They just couldn't understand it. it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, what it is. like they was like, I feel you. Like they was like, I like, I just, I just, I, you know, I just can't do it. I feel like that shit not for everybody because that That's shit it. is that shit is a, that shit is like it, it's it's very intimidating. I know my aunt. She has like she has Robin Hood, right? Um, and she always comes to me when she thinks that I know something about selling something. Right. You know what I mean? Like, she's like, this amount of money is in my account. Like, how do I sell this and right. stuff like that? But like, she had it before me, but she never got into it having the education. Yeah. Yeah. So like, she could have probably made a good amount of money on whatever she yeah. had yeah. fucking put money into, Facts. but she didn't know how to Facts. how to get through that Facts. shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I feel like a lot of, I feel like a lot of black people, yeah. especially like, yeah. Especially like people like uh, I guess of our generation are starting to like realize that stocks is important. I know J yeah. me and Jabari had a conversation about stocks yeah. mm -hmm. like what was it, like two months ago. Word. You know what I mean? And it felt like we never spoke about stocks. Yeah. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah, ever. Like that was never a thing. Like when I when I thought about stocks, I thought about Wall Street, a uh, wolf on Wall Street. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I can't do that shit. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? We yeah. ain't on to that type of time. Yeah. But then like my boy Jerry was like, yo, this is the actual stock game. Yeah. This is what it is. Yeah. Like this could like this could like this is long term investment yeah. if you want it to be that. Yeah. Or you got these short term investments yeah. you could like flip it, make long term it, and short term. Yeah, yeah. So you can you can flip it, make some like some like real cash if you if you got like if a, you know, yeah if you got yeah. like a uh, what is it called a strategy. For yeah. You, you know yeah. what I mean. But I, I feel like we're missing that from the ecosystem. Yeah. You know what I mean as yeah. far as our black culture. So like, what you think should like should happen next as far as like that being. Should it be taught in our schools? Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? That's honestly what I was actually going to get at. Yeah. Um, I think that definitely there needs to be a financial literacy class that is mandatory in schools. Okay. Like, I mean, I, I don't know how, how like, the financial system is, systems are set up out. I mean, the, the school systems are set up out here. Yeah. But I know, like, back home, bro, our, our, education, our education system is, is very, very poor, bro. Like, you know, like... So it's here. I'm not even going to lie. Dang, yeah, dang, yeah. dang, man. You know, like, we, we still even have, like, wooden desks. Like, y'all still have that out here? Like, you know like, what? You know, like, the I wooden desks? I haven't been in school in a minute, so I don't know what they I'm have. I'm not even that. sure. Like, oh, they, like, did we have wooden desks? I was in high I school with... I was, I was, I was in high school, school with wooden desks. Wooden desks. Yeah, we had wooden desks. We had wooden desks. Yeah, wooden desks. Like, about right now. Yeah, I was in high school with wooden desks. Like, we... we How long y'all been having smart boards out here? How long y'all been having smart boards? You know, I have smart boards. For a minute. Yeah, middle school. All right, smart smart boards came around like high school. Mm. Like we had smart boards like my freshman year. That's how you know, like we so behind, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like we super behind. So I, I, I feel like as far as curriculum though, 
New York schools is not that great as well. Don't you yeah. feel what I'm saying? Because same. at least the public school systems. Same. You know what I mean? So same. Like, same. So now, nah, I'm going to tell you the difference. What? All right? Because I did experience the difference. Okay. All right. Freshman year, I went to went to public school. Um, and this is, uh, this is honestly my reason for dropping out later on. Mm-hmm. Uh, freshman year, I went to public school. I played ball. Um, I was pretty good, bro. Um, I, my sophomore year, I, 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 I got connected with a private school coach. Pretty much just playing ball at a private school. Mm-hmm. Um, my sophomore year, I was doing a lot of that stuff, being around that environment for the first time, you know, which is crazy because, you know, I, I'm a young hustler and I'm, I'm around people that just got money given to them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, I'm, I got everything for sale. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. like you know what I'm saying? And and y'all got money. Y'all got just money to waste. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I can honestly say that, that even going to private school, like, besides being a ball player, that was like a come up year for me. Yeah. Like, that was, you know, because, because, I was popular from being a ball player already. Uh, I was honestly the the out of the whole high school population, it was three black, black people total. Goddamn. So I mean, I had a yeah. tattoo. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they, the tattoos were like banned. Like I, I wore a long sleeve shirt to private school every day because yeah. I had arm yeah. tattoos. Like so that that was crazy. But the school system, bro. Like like we were taking tests on something literally every. Like we would learn a lesson, we would review it, and then take a test the next day. Mm. Like that, that that was like the private school. That's private school rhythm. shit. Yeah, like, yeah, okay. And public school, we taking tests like every two weeks. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? And barely like, did homework. Like yeah, I didn't yeah, do homework. Yeah, my yeah whole we high had school. homework every day in. Private I didn't do school, homework bro. my whole high school. Career. Every day, bro, had homework, bro. Every single day, do, bro. I didn't do not one homework. Dang, that's crazy. That. No, I didn't do that's nothing. That's crazy. I did absolutely that's nothing. That's crazy, bro. I did classwork and projects. I can believe it though. No, I can believe it. Well, like if you give me fifty percent for classwork or whatever it is. And fifty percent for oh no 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 it's not fifty percent it's like twenty percent for class yeah fifty yeah. percent for project you gonna pass I'm passing that's definitely <laughs> you right gonna there. pass you know what I'm saying you gonna pass no it's that's easy. Know, it is fact that's and easy. it's bad though yeah you know what I mean and I'm definitely gonna pass some tests yeah you know what I mean I never study yeah you're not yeah yeah, yeah. I never you're not gonna fail all of them though even not studying like no I I, I yeah. never I never <laughs> studied for a test nor have I failed Damn, them nor have I crazy. failed them when I was in high school college you yeah. can't do that shit though yeah I know that's a whole different story I I went to college for two months. Cause I I got my GED and then I went. Okay. I was just like one of my endeavors. Like I was I was just doing like to to try just to try and, to do just it. better myself. Uh-huh, what happened? Like I, I was just like you know everything I fell apart. So I was <laughs> like look like I had to go to college like yeah, yeah. and I went to college for for um for auto tech for auto and diesel mechanic. Oh, okay. So I, it was something that I was already kind of used to. Yeah. That's why I was so born. I feel like that's why I, I kind of am dropping out. Cause yeah. You know, I'm, I'm in like my first first semester is all basic stuff. Like really, like in a semester, we like we changing all the past the class. Yeah, and it's like you know, like that's that was like stuff that I you know what I'm saying. Like I just that you I just knew really that. know all that. Yeah. Stuff. yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like as much as the professor really knew, I wouldn't say I knew as much, but as far as hands on, I damn near, near knew as much. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? Like hands on, like literally, I'd be like. Yeah, I, I get. I definitely know how to fix that. Like, so, you know what I'm saying? So right, Roger, we dropped out of college too. <laughs> so <laughs> so I, I was just like, you know what? I didn't, well, actually, I got my refund check, bro. And after I got my refund check, Wait, like, well, how you get that? How you get that? That's, that's, well, how that's, you get that? Refund that's, check hustle was a, that, was a that, nice that, little. That, thing. That, that's all I was waiting for. Like, that's all I was waiting for. Refund check off the tuition. Yeah, yeah. Like I got like a loan, like a like like a loan for like five bands, bro. I need to know how to get that refund. When that hit, shit, I was out of there, bro. I need like and look, look. I just knew it. I just knew it, bro. The first day of college. That's exactly what the person said. He's like, we usually get people there, they're like their, you know, their loans and stuff like first day. But he's like, you know, college has recently stopped doing that because people will just not come. Right. So I'm like, shit, he just don't know. I don't, I don't care if, if he releases <laughs> two, three months from now. <laughs> I'm not coming. <laughs> out, I'm not I'm coming. Out. Like, I'm out. <laughs> so literally that check hit, bro. Boy, we was out. We, I was out. <laughs> and one of my homeboys was like, bro, you a serious? I was like, bro, I just need some bag, bro. Like, I just need a little job. You need like, a little something like I just need a little something. Yeah. Like, nah, bro. Like, so that was crazy. <laughs> All right, so that was like, crazy. so you lived in Houston for a year, yeah, right. Um, you, but you want to move to, I don't know if you. Yeah, want to I'm, you I'm moving to uh, Las Vegas. Moving Las oh, Vegas. You moved to Las Vegas. Yeah, yeah. I thought you said I LA thought it was Las Vegas. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, I, I, I kind of say the same thing. Being at, being there like two hours away from. You. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Yeah, like I'm, I'm a pretty much be in the West Coast majority of the time. Oh, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying you. the only reason why I'm moving to Las Vegas specifically is because uh, I have a car rental business. Pretty much like uh, during Turo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, that's, I, I plan to get like, no lie, like 20 cars when I when I get there and just run them all on Turo. That's like a main main attraction. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. That's, that's a main place for people to go and, uh, and and go rent, you know, vehicles. So uh, that's exactly what I'm doing in Houston too. Um, you know, I, I, I have no complaints pretty much. Even, even, a Turo, even a Turo hustle in Houston is good 
Uh, I, I kind of got got my own little finesse going. I do uh, free free deliveries on all my cars to the airports. Oh, so, wow. You know, people flying in, they, they see free delivery, y'all. Let me cop that. You know what I'm saying? Good good little price. I, I typically keep all my cars like around 100, you know, a day. Like 100, 100, you know, 20 a day, depending mm-hmm. on what you get. And they they run out, bro, every weekend for sure. Like, if I get a car and it doesn't run out by the weekend, I'm about to bring it back. <laughs> yeah. Like, because every weekend for sure, your your car should be running out. What about, uh like, real estate? Real estate, yeah, I have two Airbnbs right now. Um... That, that's pretty Jamar, much it. Why you just laugh? Because like, no yeah. matter what question you are gonna ask, he gonna be in every yeah. fucking <laughs> industry. He got you trucking, know what I mean? trucking everything. Yeah, Airbnb like, is a calls. smooth finesse, bro. Uh, like I, I, I haven't looked at my Airbnb in like three, four months. Like I haven't been there physically. Okay. And and it's been booked up. I pretty much have a cleaning lady. She goes in there. She, I, I gave her access to the booking site so she can see. Also, when people was leaving, you know, the times people check in, check out, and she goes in there clean, bro. Like I, I don't even look at the Airbnb. No cap, yeah, it's crazy. No cap. I'm surprised you don't sell clothes as well, or do you? Hey, I, I, I'm trying to, bro. I just don't have the time to yet. <laughs> I, know, I, know. I don't have the time to yet. I actually have a dropshipping store, bro. Um, I ran a dropshipping store for like a year straight, but I, I took a break, bro. It's dropshipping is a hassle. Mm. Like you know, what, that's that? that's another drop hustle. Shipping? Yeah, dropshipping. What the hell is that? Um, that's like a, a a new age hustle too. Um, it's pretty much like like you have sites like uh like. Wholesale sites like Ali Alibaba, yeah. um, that's like what, what most people know of. It's pretty much you find a vendor, um, you get connected, um, and you, you 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 get stuff. You know, wholesale. You can start your own brand. The vendor even create your own brand, create your own logo. They'll send stuff with your own logo on it. Um, it's it's pretty dope, bro. It's pretty dope. Uh, me me specifically, I just was honestly, this is crazy because like the same vendor I use to this day. For literally everything that I would even sell, like online, yeah, is the same vendor that I sold has with in 2012. Wow! So that's like she becoming full circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like she, like we do business now, like on a, on a on a whole nother level. Like you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's nothing but love. Like I can't wait to go to China because like I can't wait to see like what kind of love she gonna show me even like, like out there. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I've been shopping with her for years. So it's like the drop is, the drop shipping stuff is is honestly nothing to really get started. Um, another hustle too I did for a little while, bro. Uh, there's y'all, y'all ever heard of um of buying pallets? Uh, like so there's there's like sites where where like uh, warehouses like the Walmart distribution centers. Uh, I actually found out about this by working at the Walmart distribution center, like uh or like Home Depot wh- wherever like they they'll pretty much have pallets. Uh, that they're auction off yeah and like let's say you buy a pallet for like a thousand dollars bro the pallet could be full of 50 inch flat screen tvs like or it could be full of like you know xboxes oh or, wow and yeah. you sell that shit yeah yeah easily on, on amazon like <laughs> wow <laughs> crazy <laughs> and that look look how look 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 he is 21 it's crazy. I know, I know. I, I just don't know what I was doing at 21. I, I'm a fucking loser. <laughs> <laughs> what is no, this? man. Yo. No. At, 20, at 21, I was just getting drunk out my mind because I could go to bars legally yeah. without me, without them trying to card me. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? I like, don't even like, think look, I was like, thinking. Look at this shit. We was excited to do. Yeah, like, right? At it was even the same bullshit. My son already got like 10 businesses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what's crazy, too? I never had toys growing up, and I've never played like an Xbox, PlayStation type stuff till this day. Like, like my pops, Ooh. what he used to tell me was my, that my, my, my tapped into something right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Might have to unpack something. that. Might have to I, yeah, yeah. I, I've never, I never played till this day. Look, check this out. Um, my pops, he pretty much was the type of person like, like I, I never really had toys growing up because like I said I was the only boy, bro, and and I'm around them but females. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. He was he, was, he he was like this. He was like, you know, if, if you're going to buy something, if you're going if you're going to buy something or or you're going to get something, make sure it's something that you can sell again. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, like he was like your mom, you know, whatever, you know, she she buying stuff whatever, but it's no good if you can't sell it again. You know what I'm saying? It's no good if you if you can't make something off of it. You know what I'm saying? Like I remember one Christmas I, you know, I'd been saving up, you know. I bought like a little like a whole like form set. She was like 600. And when he got home, he was like, he was like, 
Like, you know, like, like as a kid, you yeah. know, you expecting like your parents to be like, oh, that's nice. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, you expecting your parents to be like, you like, you got the form set. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, it was like after Christmas, bro. I was like, I was literally, I remember crying like after that. He was like, he was like, bro, like you have like a, like you just want like, like, like 600 on like, on like some shit that you can't even, like you won't ever better get your money back for that. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like you gonna play with it for like a few months. Like, you know what I'm saying? Maybe a few weeks. But after that, it's gonna be old news to you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he, I feel like my my pops had a lot of influence on that. And then game systems, yeah, I like that. I, I was just always too busy. Like I was always too busy to 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 even like I, I've never really watched TV too. Like, I've never really tapped into like a, a good television show, like like or none of that either. That's like, crazy. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> That's I crazy. just feel like the more you talk, the more I feel like shit. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> because high key. I was playing games. Like, I was in the huh, games. Bro. But maybe that's what, like... Maybe I find it dope, though, but it's just, like, every time like, I've tried to get on, like, literally, like, I feel like I maybe try to play the hard shit a lot of times. Like, my homeboys, like, even at the house, like, like we pretty much, like, I have a big crib. Um, Like, I, I, I stay with my brother and, yeah. and, like, two of my other homies I actually met, like, last year, bro. Yeah. Uh, Just through, you know, like, just through doing what I do. They trade, too. Him as well, man. My guy filming me right now. Um, we met a year ago, actually at a Waffle House. I pulled up in my in my Corvette. Uh, I hopped out. He was like, "Man, that's, that's a that's a badass car." You know what I'm saying? I'm like, appreciate it. We chopped it up. I told him what I do. Uh, he was like, "Did you can show me something?" I'm like, "Shit, I I got the laptop in the whip. Like, we can yeah. sit down at the table. Like, it's good." And we we sat down, bro. And he he locked in with it, with it too. Like six months into it, he had a big day. Um, he went for 11, 12K in a day since then, bro. Quit his job. Um, he, he has a credit repair business now. So, you know, just all, pretty much everybody around me is influenced on some entrepreneur mind type vibe type, like, you know, type, type of, type of energy. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, my, they, they be playing a game, bro, like Call of Duty. And I'll be like, give me, the, give me a controller, bro. And I'm like in there, I'm just getting smacked. Like, I'm just getting smacked, bro. I'm just like, bro. Like I hate I hate doing something that I feel like I'm just yeah, like it's impossible yeah. to get good at. Yeah, like maybe because yeah. I just never played never shit like that, that before. Shit. I I'm, feel like you know what I'm saying. I feel like because you didn't play <laughs> with games, yeah. like had distractions, if you will, Fact. watch TV or whatever like that. Yeah, it forced it forced you to do other things. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. and maybe yeah. that's just like I don't know. Cause Bar, you don't play games either. You don't play games. I mean, I stopped in high school, but yeah. I, I definitely. But you was never games. even a game guy I was never either. Big on like, games. You was never big on yeah. games. Like, was that common though? Like, where you grew up, like, was like actually like, is not, bro. Everybody played the game. Bro. Everybody played the oh, game. Yeah. No cap. Like, I, I was just like an outsider on that part. Mm. Like, I was like an outsider on that part. Like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I just like, like I said, my pops was kind of hard. You know what I'm saying? Kind of hard on me. And you know what I'm saying? It's just. You know, the girls didn't really play games. Like, you know what I'm saying? I didn't have male cousins. You know what I'm saying? So it's like the girls didn't really play games. You know what I'm saying? They they was doing all type of other stuff, all, yeah. all type of extra curricular activities that girls do. Yeah. You know, the cheer stuff and all that. So I was just chilling, bro. I was just a hooper. You know, cool. I was at pretty pretty anti, but like I said, a lot of people knew me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people knew that I was a go-getter hustler. You know what I'm saying? I, I was I was getting it. Yeah. Um, And, and even with what I'm doing now, man, a lot of people respect that. I I'm so genuine with, it, with with everything, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I can really it, from a trading tip, I I can break that down to someone so simple, bro. Um, because I I I really learn from trial and error, Man. so it's like I can see exactly what a what a person who wouldn't know what they're looking at is is seeing. You know what I'm saying? I can understand somebody being like, "Oh, what's this?" I could be like, like my brother, right? For for example, he's 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 real technical. You know what I'm saying? Because he he learned that way, so. I remember one time uh, when I like I first started my course, uh, he was like he was like let me run a zoom with you with with, with you with you you know you folks you know what I'm saying he's like let me run a zoom with him I'll, I'll put him on some game I'm like I'm like for sure put him on some game so he's running a zoom and 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 I could tell like he, he's he's just saying different things you know what I'm saying and I can understand what he's saying you know what I'm saying but he's like anybody got any questions everybody's just quiet. <laughs> Everybody's just quiet. He's like, all right, so 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 then so then he goes to he goes to another subject. So then after the, after the Zoom was over, I was like, bro, I could tell like nobody understood anything you said, bro. Right, yeah. He's like, you think so? I was like, he's like, nobody had any questions. I was like, bro, I was like, that's why. Yeah. I was like, because nobody understood anything you were saying, bro. It's, I was like, it's not it's not 
it's just the way you're interpreting things. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's, just, it's your wordplay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like things are the, are literally the same thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Somebody may, may say, um, an engulfing candle, right? Like, like, like you, you know, you, you look for an engulfing candle. I'll just tell you, look, look for a candle to, to overpower the previous three candles. Mm, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so all you're looking for is one candle to pretty much overpower the previous three candles. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's engulfing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You just need to know what you're looking at when you're trading. You don't need to know what everything is called. Yeah. So I feel like that's what, that's what's confusing about the industry. Mm. Like, people say, if people make it wordplay. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they Their wordplay is so complicated that people will be like, damn, I got to learn a vocabulary first. Like, you know what I'm saying? I got to learn a vocabulary before I even learn how to trade. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So by by me being able to, like, cut the vocabulary out of out of trading... People are like, dang, I understand exactly what, what you're saying. Like, you know what I'm saying? I understand yeah. exactly what I'm looking at now. Yeah. Like a lot of traders, they 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 either are, are brand new to this industry that come to me, or they either then then been through this mentor, this mentor, this mentor, this mentor. And when they finally come to me, they'll be like, dang, somebody finally can just put it all together for me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I've been looking at this, 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 and it's, it's finally like something that that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Which was which was surprising bro because i honestly created the way i trade i created that from scratch bro it was all through just trial and error bro yeah you and, created and, your own strategy yeah through trial and, 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 error. and it was golden bro like it like literally man my folks say that all the time they'd be like man the strategy is fucking golden like it's crazy it's crazy all right so tell us tell tell the people where to find your your courses at and shit like that your site yeah um on ig you can go follow the the course page um is the don trade academy so just how it's spelled, T H E D O N, uh, Trade Academy. Um, you'll see my my daily posts there. Uh, I pretty much have have all my market setups. Um, how my course works is uh, I have templates inside, which are which are pretty much tell you like a lot of a lot of stuff of like like about the market in general, what's going on, what what, what you're looking at in general. Um, after you go through the templates, kind of, I always tell people either screenshot the templates that way you refer back to them, or uh, you know if you're serious about it, you got your office set up, you got your monitor, whatever. I say print out everything and put them on the wall. Yeah, you know what I'm saying because it's, it's 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 visual learning. Like you know what I'm saying. Like I've always been a good visual learner. You know what I'm saying. If you show me something. I can see that. You know what I'm saying? I, I can, I, as, as simple. And it breaks you know it down. Like, exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, even in high school, like, I, I, I would literally look at something, all right, look at what the teacher's doing. I, I wouldn't even be listening to what she's saying. I'd just be looking at what she's doing. And after I get it, I'm sleeping. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to sleep. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I got it. You know what I'm saying? I can do it again. If I seen it done, I can, I can do it again. Yeah, yeah. So, so the, the 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 after the templates it's pretty much over a hundred plus videos of me breaking down my strategy literally um i have an amateur section which is which is all my first ever zoom calls with people so what i always offer is once you join i offer you a a, a one-on-one session uh like I, but you have to go through the course at least like a, a week or two um just to just so that we not ask questions all day yeah, 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 you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah. but but I always offer like, you know, I, I say, you know, go through the course, the, the first few videos or whatever for the for the first, you know, two weeks and then get back with me. We'll get a one on one session. Mm. So once I get the one on one session, um, I I'll always post those in my academy. So, so so people can see what what people's first questions was. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, literally, I'm I'm I'm, I'm meeting this person for the first time. Mm. I always be like, you know, where are you from? Da, 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 and we'll get into it. So it'd be like an hour session, you know, uh, and the, the the good one where I cover a lot, I'll pretty much move them ahead in the course or I'll make them like either an amateur session, uh, a beginner session or 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 an advanced session. You know what I'm saying? So the advanced session is really getting into just breaking down crazy, you know, like, like just just really seeing stuff. But like it'll blow your mind. It'll blow your mind. You'll be like, dang, that's crazy. There you have it. AJ to Don. Yo, Bart, how you feel about to have that? What How you feel about that? How you feel about everything we just learned today? I mean, first of all, I think, I think like you like way like wiser beyond your years. You know what I mean? Like, Appreciate it, bro. Like you, I just really respect like your mindset from the jump. Yeah. You know what I mean? You had somebody in your life that instilled certain things in you. Yeah. And like you just wasn't complacent with just yeah. like staying in there. Just like, all right, I heard what you said, but not applying yeah. it for real. Like, yeah. you're like you know, I'm really yeah. about to get the fuck up out of here. Facts. Facts. Yeah. And like really Facts. do something for And it, yeah. even like Facts. having fifty thousand dollars in your yeah. bank account or in all oh, like your your trading account and not like just like staying complacent in that. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. Is a different yeah. like level of yeah. like, you know, discipline too. I think yeah. you, I think you're a very disciplined individual. Yeah. 
Yeah, you know I, mean? I, I, yeah, that's one thing that you that you have to learn. You know what I'm saying? Is is discipline when it comes to that? Yeah, it, because you know, getting money is one thing, but keeping money and 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 growing money yeah. is a whole another ball sustaining game. wealth. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 a whole another ball game. Yeah, that's a that's a consistent, disciplined effort. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's a lot of sacrifices, bro, that you gotta make, especially as an entrepreneur, especially having stuff going for yourself. You gonna have to make those self sacrifices. You know what Bef I'm saying? Before we get out of here, though, like, right? So, like, is it is there any like um, in the future? Is there anything that you like would see yourself opening up? Probably in your old neighborhood for your community, the black neighborhood, yeah, neighborhoods, yeah, or like yeah, yeah, even definitely. in like communities that you visited, definitely. Houston, Las Vegas, and shit like that. Definitely. Um, since a kid, bro, uh, I always wanted to put because we don't have any community centers. We don't have like any. Oh, I love that. That's big. That's big on me too. Go, that's like one of my rec goals. Center? Yeah, like rec rag. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm big on that because it keeps kids Fight. out from doing bullshit. Busy, bro. Yeah, one thousand. Yeah, 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 yeah. I definitely want a rec center, bro. Um, I, I'm in a boxing. So I, I definitely want want to you know like because I know you know coming from that that background for sure Louisiana like as you know it's rough down there you know what I'm saying so it's like you know e even influencing like a lot of cats to get up off the streets and start boxing yeah you know what I'm saying like start start doing something that's that's positive yeah you know what I'm saying that's, you want to be physical just do yeah, something yeah, positive just do with something it. else yeah you know, I, I, you know so um that that man and I, I definitely just just all over I want to start a foundation. Uh, like like I, every now and then I don't always post on Instagram uh, or, or on social media, but I I like pretty often I always go feed the homeless, bro. Uh, I pretty much feed them, clothe them, bro. Uh, just a while back I I did like a big giveaway in Houston. Um, being that I was moving out of my house, bro, I honestly gave away like them to my whole closet. Oh wow! Uh, like shoes and everything. Um, and I was just like I'm gonna start over in Vegas, like, but I I pretty much gave away everything. Um, I I fed everybody on the block. Uh, it was it was good, bro. I, but I do that I do that all the time. Yeah. Uh, so I definitely want to open like like a, a foundation where I, I can start like homeless shelters all over the, all, all over. Yeah. Um, and then even educate people about about financial literacy. And the last thing I want to do for sure is is travel from from prison to prison and teach prisoners about this. Oh. Um. Right now, currently in my course, I have three guys that's that's locked up that's learning how to trade. Wow. Um. I have a guy that's been trading with me like eight months. Um, he he made like twenty k in a day, in jail, a while back. Yeah, he, he trading Bitcoin, and um, he, he we still locked in like that. You know, he's just saving his bread, getting lawyers. You know, he he about to like make an appeal. Like yeah. it's about to be crazy. I got another homie in Cali. Um, we locked in on Instagram about about a few months back. Um, he's coming out next year. And he pretty much been stacking his bread too. He 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 want to start him a, a a business once he gets out too. So I definitely want to travel and do that because that can give a lot of people behind bars second chance, like just having that bread. Yeah, bro. for you know sure. Saying? For having sure. that having that bread. You know what yeah, I'm so saying? You don't have to come out and do some bullshit. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. That's exactly. Dope, bro. Listen, man, I appreciate you for coming here for a living black. Sure. Right. Traveling from all the way in Houston and shit like that to New York and shit. For sure. It's been a great pot. Yeah. It's that been was, a great pot, that and that was good. good. That was good. Appreciate it. I have fun. Appreciate it, G. Yeah, chilla. Got chillin', my man's here. Appreciate All it. right, and this is In Living Black. We up out of here. Peace. Sure. That, was great. that was great. That was dope, man. I appreciate y'all again. <laughs>